what is up welcome back to another video of our swindon town to glory now last time we changed up the format we did three games we showed you our 2-1 win against Tranmere. we then went and did a we got a 1-0 win at mk du away at mk duns we then drew with the league leaders at the time forest green we went on to win against newport and not county and our final game that we showed was Hull City, where we went to win a 3-2 with a late last-minute winner from Blake Tracy, our centre-back. And instantly, we got a notification, but as you can see, our next FA Cup opponents are Liverpool. Which is going to be such a tough game. We're just going to do it, our first game, or last game, and we're going to do Liverpool. So first off, let's just go to Colchester and try and grab a winner. So I will see you once we head into the game. Uh, there was just confirmation of the match. It was going to be the 16th, that was the 17th. I'll have a little look at our Youth Academy players. Have they grown? 45. Ooh. Okay, he's grown quite a bit. Eh. Don't know yet. I will see you when we get into the match. Colchester. Fuck the now. Uh, game two of Liverpool, and then I think it was Morgan. Um, yeah, it was Morgan. I'll write it in whenever I get confirmation. Blake Trish is gonna stay away. Oh my god! So Kane's very unhappy. There's no point of having you in our squad then. Um, I think we'll live with us. I'm going to start Cole actually so he gets a little bit happier. Um, give a couple of guys some rest. <laughs> actually, yeah, no, let's play Brown instead of Count. Let's get Brown's development up. Uh, Kind of still is happy with his game time. It's like if Kane's very unhappy and he's leaving, I don't really have to play him. Uh, let's play Kane. Let's play Tracy and all that. The center backs can sell. Shade and Olivaro. Oh, Shade's getting a lot of game time. Well, looks like we're getting straight into this match. We are here at Colchester. There was no cutscene, so nothing important that the commentators wanted to share, which is quite surprising. But we are against Colchester. Let's see. You know, our team has have to have a lot of people changed because uh, stamina issues. Certain people were not at full fitness, like our hero, Murphy, as Ahmed just gets, gets clean taken out. And we get a free kick with inside five minutes. Kemp is going to take it. So we're going to see if Kemp can smash one top corner. He's going to line it up. He's going to hit this with ferocity. And if it, if, the, if it was closer, yeah, he could have. But I think we probably should have been better just whipping that in. We've scored 64 goals inside 33 games. We found Kemp to Ahmed. Ahmed's going to find Aldevaro, who's going to 
take a while to try and get the ball from out underneath his feet. Because of that, the ball's lost. He goes... Ahmed! Ahmed almost scores! Alvaro takes it, since it is not here. Godwin Malif. A handful of a name. I'm just gonna call you Walif. Hoping no one else has ever called Walif. I mean, hey. Colchester. They are on the attack. This is not what we want. Can we run them out of play? No. Gonna take the shot. But it decided it wanted. It just kept rising up above the bar. Akolo, I'm playing two different fullbacks today. And Divine and Colo. I'm gonna take Colo. I've, I've t decided if Kane's gonna be unhappy and he's already leaving, he isn't part of the squad. You know, I know he disrespects me from my tactics of what works. It's not my fault he, the man's bad at shooting. Alvaro gets taken out by whoever the hell this guy is. <laughs> thinks he is. You can't touch Alvaro. As uh, this time Kemp is just gonna cross one in to Alvaro. Can't get his head to it. Shade keeps it alive. Shade to Divine who finds Alvaro. Alvaro is gonna try and wiggle his way through. Ends up losing the ball. And that's pretty much our attack. That's our attack story this so far this game. We get there. Can't finish it though. Like Tracy just lunges himself at the ball. We're gonna find shade. We're gonna hope. Can Estelia can get there? Can't. I know Colchester could be on the attack. If we're not careful. Quolo is caught out of out of position. But he wins the ball. Divine gives it away. We just need to clear it. Make it to half time. And yeah, we get the half time, but <laughs> it's a shaky half. A shaky start. That is not good at all. Take longer half times just to refocus and all. So then I can just take all this stuff out so I can hit half time. All right. Didn't want to make any changes. Uh, wanted to take a just take a little time, try and rethink who, if anything, I wanted to change. Only I decided no, and we're just gonna start the second half and hope we can scram a win. We should be winning. If we can beat Hull City, we should be able to beat any League Two side in in theory. I mean. What are the chances we beat Liverpool? Very, very low unless they play a very weak side, but that was the same said about flipping Tottenham. Look where we got. But we are flimsy. We can't give up goals. Oh, wonderful play. Get the Kemp. Kemp just gets dispossessed because we have all our other attacking up players are offside. Brown's done nothing this game. He's been a, he's just been standing there. I thought I would bring on Brown. Get him game time. He just stands. Doesn't do anything. Get the shade. Shade's gonna pass it back. We're gonna find Ahmed. He's gonna try and play Alvaro, but about 15 years too late. 
Olivaro literally went on that time travel and turned 40 by the time this man played that pass, apparently. We need to go on an attack. We want to be leading. Going into the final couple of minutes, because we know the final couple of minutes is where we can struggle. Ball somehow gets to Aldevaro. He's going to try and look for Ahmed. Can't make it work. And now we're just scrambling to try and break the attack, break their attack up first. And now Kolo, can he run? Try. Find a way through the defense of Colchester. We're going to get to Kemp. Kemp's going to strike it. And it just ends up wide. Ahmed's going to come off. I think we need Murphy at this stage. Can we try? Grab a winner late on. Adavaro wins the ball back quite nicely. He's going to cut inside. He wants Murphy to run. He doesn't. He just stands there. Kemp finds Aldavaro. <laughs> it's 1-0 at the death of his. It's in by our highest rated player. The man what we need to rely on but doesn't shine sometimes. Kemp has run his race. And now, can we hold on? Can we? Murphy's going to just keep chasing these guys down, hoping that... Corey Town was next. Ah, uh, players in the national. <laughs> when does this international start? Oh, the 19th. Okay, it's the 19th. Okay, so we still have Aldevaro. Okay, okay, we're good. Alrighty, then. We have just came off of two games. I think we, uh, the two games where we played, uh, Salford and Bradford, two people near the thing, we won against, uh, Bradford which was our last game. We drew against Salford, so it doesn't hurt us too much. As you can see, result to the draw for the Champions League. Kind of go nice and well. <laughs> oh. oh, their squad's tired. We might have a chance. We might have a chance. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to redo that whole intro. This is going to be hard. So, oh my god, yeah, it's going to be well over. It's going to be well over fucking three hours now because I did about fucking four retries on each Salford. Um, bloody. Alrighty then, we are back. I've kind of just done the pre-match report. I have my main squad out, nothing really drastic. I kind of just wanted to go cutscene straight into this. To me, this might be better. So, we are at Liverpool. We drew against Salford. We won against Bradford City as um, our resort, uh, results. I might start putting it in as... Uh, before the matches just so we're okay with it but as you can just see we quickly got a free kick against a team that could be quite tired by the looks of things the defense is fine the attack is tired which i'm happy about the crowning goes to murphy can murphy do anything he just gets swarmed this is premier league football this is high opposition of a team in liverpool Kemp's going to try and fire a shot. Murphy keeps the ball alive. 
This is where Aldevaro really has to come into his element. They have Allison, one of the best goalkeepers in the world. If Dani Carvajal from Real Madrid, they looks like they've signed this season. Obviously, you've got your Salah, you got Nunez. I think they have Diego Schotta on the left. Is this a star squatted team? Our only star is Aldevaro. Danny Carvajal is through. Tries to whip a ball in. It's actually not a bad ball. Ueke, he needs to deal with Salah. If he can't deal with Salah, our whole team's going to go down. Let's let them have the ball. So we don't get brought back for that far. Oh, I thought that would have been a foul. Kemp's got the ball. Kemp's running. He's going to play in Aldavaro. Aldavaro is through. He's going to try and finish against Balzabeca, and he does. What a story. We are 1 0 up against Liverpool. We have just stunned Anfield to silence. Oh my gosh, is this Swindon Town's journey, or will it come to an end? Frankly, if it came to end to Liverpool, I wouldn't be surprised. Now we just have to sit back, see how far we can get. <laughs> this is sh this this shows how this. Look at this, Darren Nunez can just breeze by. That's a shot. It's deflected. They have so much more pace than us. There's so much more. Got so much more shooting than us. Get it cleared. Falls at Diego. Shot. Shot gets blocked. It falls at the <laughs> He narrowly misses. I think if we if we can somehow pull a win out of this, I think we're gonna be doing just fine. It's Kemp. Can he do anything? He is just. We've just lost the ball. We can't. This is going to be a very tough game. You have a fully fit Diego Jota. We've just decided to just boot the ball. I think we, if we can just keep the ball in their half for crucial moments. This is worrying. Graven Birch. We don't want to make stupid challenges allowing the defenders to go up. Oh, but Cairns went. We've got Tolkien. Just going to boot the ball up. It's half time. We're 1 0 up thanks to Aldevaro. But can we keep it? Is this a match? Doncaster's drawing to fill him at half time out of the two matches we're playing. I'm going to try and find Aldevaro. <laughs> Diego Jota gets it. Oh gosh. We find Salah the Wake. Wake blocks it. Can we attack now? Is it possible? Can Kemp try and get a ball in? Anyone's into the box. Oh, it's over everyone's heads. Graven Birch comes off, but who's coming on? Pellegrini. Salah's just. Oh, this is this is honestly going to be, this is going to be tough. On oh, Nunez, on oh, Darwin. This this is honestly going to be so hard, trying to keep. There's like a Clark. Ah. <laughs> Our lead lasted like four, like 30 minutes. Yeah, lead almost lasted 40 minutes. I think that's just a positive in general. The fact that we made a lead last almost 40 minutes. It means if we do score, we do have more tendency to win. We score now. Liverpool's got the crowd going. 
You can just hear the echoes. Our players can feel the pressure. Is that where we shine? Kemp's struggling. Shota is able to keep the ball. Now Jota. Blake Tracy just does a smart thing. Kicks it out. We can recuperate. We can try and hold on to this. Oh, no. 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 Game. No. 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 Shot. No. Nina's. <gasps> Ward. You savior. Ward has saved us. Look can Aldevaro do anything from this wing. He's got the space. Oh, but he takes one touch too many. Van Dyke comes on the pitch. Oh, gosh. Well, there goes our... Okay. McCrannan, he's having a shot at times. Uh, I don't know why he wanted to have a shot. Now Kemp has the ball. What can Kemp do? He tries to get past Matip. He does. He tried to shoot it. He gets tackled. We're in the dying embers of the game. Nunes is on the attack. With Jota. To Salah. He passes it back. This is the final attack of the game. Pellegrini! <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> 90 minutes, Doncaster 2, Fulham 2. We have to resume the match. It's extra time now. We've got the two League 2 sides battling against Prime Opposition. One definitely up against it being us. I've seen why they put. I've seen why they put uh, uh, Virgil on now. Virgil's so good in the air. Oh, we could be in trouble. So we could. Not if Salah does this. McCann's on the run. McCann. He finds McCrennan. McCrennan finds Murphy. Murphy. Sides to ignore Aldevar who pushes Van Dyke to the floor. Can Murphy score? He does. Murphy has scored against Liverpool. We've taken the lead again. I'm going to tell the team. Let's just hold back. Hold this up. Let is, let's not disrupt this anymore. We have to hold Liverpool up. We have made it to half time in extra time. We have 15 crucial minutes. Can we keep it? Kemp tries an audacious attempt realistically Darwin gives the ball away to Murphy Murphy keeps the ball he's thinking about taking a shot playing ultra defensive why is everyone up my Nunez like Tracy just pumps it clear Carver how Time is running out for Liverpool. Um, Parquet, Nunez. Oh no! 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 no. Switch to the right. Salah, Ward. Oh! Oh God! It's a corner though. It's a corner. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Salah! No! <laughs> oh, that's poor defending from me. It's really poor. Shh. 
shade. He's went for a more central position. He can't do anything because there's no one up. And it's penalties. So we could have won. We could have won. <laughs> look at the... Oh, look at the pens. Salah's first. It's penanked it down the middle. Aldevaro smashes it. Come on. Pellegrini does the same. Kemp. Can Kemp put it away? Oh, yes, he can. Darwin Nunez smashes it top right. Can Shade. Score. No, he hits the post. Thomas Miller. Board can't save it. This comes up to McAaron. He slots it. Now can Ward keep his in? Can Diego Jota miss his pen? Ward can't save it. And our glory run. Our glory run has came to an end. Oh, that is heartbreaking. That is so heartbreaking. Our glory run has came to an official end. Making it to the quarterfinals as a League Two side is so impressive. But we could have won that game if we just didn't fumble at the last second with defensive structure. Oh, that is heartbreaking. So, Fulham also won, so both of us, both League Two sides got knocked out on penalties. That is gut-wrenching of a feeling to do that. That is so, so annoying. That hurts. It really does hurt. But there's two games we have to play. I think we're just going to do this game. We are going to go, um, we're just going to go straight in. This is going to be straight into the next game. We are going to face Crawley, I believe. Yeah, Crawley, we are going to be facing. Um... So Aldevaro's actually also went on to campus. So just gonna do two back to back games here. Um then that just means I can sim quick sim the next match and that will be us for this episode. Which is really gut branching. I'm still very in shock. Just a couple of, couple of days after our defeat to Liverpool, we return home to the crowd kind of just giving us a standing ovation and stuff. I would imagine a League 2 side getting to the quarterfinals, then losing out to Liverpool on penalties with a team that still was very strong considering they had a couple of youngsters playing. Is really good. But now, can we win against Crawley after that loss? Also, I think Colo's playing right mid. Yep. With Aldevaro coming out, I've, we've decided Colo would be the perfect thing. And McGurn in. 1 0. Inside 9 minutes. Yay. 
this is the ideal way to start this game. Can't really, I can't really say much except for we should have won. But we're gonna show what we can do when we put our minds to it. So yeah. This is just us showing the, the reason why we drew against Liverpool after 120 minutes. Can we just go on and win by two goals plus here to show? Just really show the fact that we belong anywhere above League 2? Winning comfortably here would be the definition of showing that, that we are ready for better leagues. Murphy runs offside. It's probably one of the only times he's really done that. Oh, Koala's actually doing a Coco. I don't know, man. Some of these names are hard to pronounce. Unlike this man's name. Because Kemp is just on fire. I mean, if you faintly heard the commentators there, that is the definition of less said about it, the better. Oh, yeah, McGuire. Not Harry McGuire, probably his brother McGuire. Definitely more than one McGuire in that family. Okay. What are Crawley planning to do here? Nothing because our defense is suddenly bound. Kemp has gotten. F Kemp is being frustrated. He is frustrated about the game and also about just losing the ball. And Kemp is on a yellow card, as you can. <laughs> Rightly so. so. We are 1 0 up. Doncasters are 0 0. So, like, Doncasters is a team I'm going to keep an eye on. Mainly just because they were also a team that just got knocked out of the FA Cup. So, I want to see if they could bounce back. We are hopefully. And this is hope. Like, this is very hopeful. We can hopefully win the title this year. We can win. I think the season, the title, it's a pretty good season. And then it's just about keeping up the performances in the FA Cup. It's like one of Kemp's first bookings. Like we don't have many yellow cards. We do have a cut. We have had a red this season. I think it was from Ward or some random center back I had to play to keep him happy. Koalo finds Murphy. Murphy turns away beautifully. Oh, he's just went a little bit too wide. He's found the back of some boy's shirt with a shot. So, I mean, hey, props to you, mate. Ah. <sighs> 1-0 up. We just need to... Hang in there. It's not a pen. Ah, uh, Ward, who dove the right way, decided to dive about 20, 20 years later. Like... Oh, we're going to need a better keeper for those scenarios. That's a dumb penalty to give away. That's such a dumb penalty to give away. Comfortably winning. And now Crawley are going to have the momentum. I 
I mean, what the heck? Referee, get the flipping other team in check. You're giving pens for soft tackles. Like, come on. This is not where we want to be. For God's sake. Do all of this, and we're gonna lose the flipping Swindon Town. No, we're gonna lose the flipping Crawley because we are Swindon Town. But Murphy has other ideas. Murphy has other ideas. Just Mur Murphy's just got other ideas. I don't know why I said Swindon. We are Swindon Town, but we're losing to Crawley Town. Losing to rival towns. A rival town. Town. Now we have. Do we have a chance? Murphy finds Kemp. Kemp, can he score? Can he score? Yes, he can! We have. We've done it! You've came back! <laughs> we just needed that little bit of energy. We are going to play Kane. You know, give Kane some game time. So it's not going unfit. We have just... We have just won. <laughs> we have just... We have just won. A way of the winning I, I did not think we could do. After, you know, we go 2-1 down and give away a pen. Doncaster wins. MK Don wins. MK Don says I need to get Kemp. I'm going to phone you next season. Be prepared. We are 72 points. Huh. And yeah, we will um, just go into Morkib. Hoping to win? I don't know. Where are we in the league? We are top. We've got two points. Two points separate us and Stockport, who I think we play next episode. So that's going to be an interesting one. I just think we just go into it with quick sim it and we see what happens. Team is tired, but. Just for this match, quick. And it's a nil nil draw. Um, I never even got to see what Stockport got. Great. We could be tied on points. We are not. They also drew. They also drew because we are playing Stockport next. next the first game of next episode. First game of next episode is going to be Stockport. But if you did enjoy, please let me know. Uh, I would love to actually figure out if it's actually like this or not. Because I'm actually enjoying this as we speak. But until next time, see ya.